How's everybody doing? Mike here from MBG Adventures. And what we're doing in this video, as you can tell from the title, 300 hour review on my 2019 John Deere 636M. Quick track. Now if you guys follow me, you know I rave about this machine. I love this thing. This has given me no problems except for one one minor one. It's funny, as, as I hit, uh, actually, just before I hit the 300 mark, I'm not kidding you, maybe a couple hours under, um, started getting a problem with it, with uh, starting. So first I thought it was a starter, but I, I checked the battery. The, all the connections were fine with the battery. No uh, corrosion or anything like that. I take care of my stuff really good. As you can see, this is pretty clean for, uh, you know, 19, 20, 21, my third season, uh, almost end of the season, fully using it for three years. So averaging roughly 100 hours a season on the machine. So long story short, um, the starter is kind of hard to get to right here. Cause I was thinking maybe it's a starter, but uh, that's not the problem. It was a key switch. So I got the key switch replaced. Um, I did drop the machine off at John Deere uh, just because I couldn't, I couldn't figure out what the problem was because, you know, one day in the morning it would just be like click, you turn the key, nothing, and then you turn it again, it starts, and no problems for the day. And then the next day it starts right away, and then halfway through the day it doesn't do it again. So uh, I just dropped it off at Deere anyway. Do most of the work myself, but I just couldn't figure out what was wrong. And they uh, they did all their testing. They tested everything on the machine. They know I take care of my stuff, and it was a key switch, so they just replaced that. Not a big deal. It wasn't a lot of money, and at least uh, yeah, now it's running good. So that's the only issue I've had in three years of owning this machine with uh, 300 hours on it. So that's really not that bad. I'll show you right there. I don't know if you can see that. 302.1 hours on it. It's a 2019, like I said. Uh, the only other problem I had with it, which there wasn't a problem. It was operator error. I bent one blade on it. That was a couple of years ago. <laughs> that was a bit of a joke. I think I made a video about that. The hockey stick I made out of the, uh, the blade. But I hit one of those water shutoffs that are uh, in the ground. Anyway, but that, that's pretty much it. So that's not bad for 300 hours, just a key switch. I do all the maintenance myself. There's that fuel filter still looking really good. Uh, I got a video going back. You can see a maintenance video on this, uh, oil change, all that kind of fun stuff. You know, just make sure you, you grease your machine everywhere. There's grease points in the wheels here. All right, there's grease points right here too. Just make sure you keep it greased. It takes two seconds to do that. Rather than having, uh, you know, hundreds of dollars uh, problem with your machine and repairs. You see how clean I keep this. I blow it off every time I use it. Okay, I did power wash this uh, the other day. But um, the only part, and I'll be honest with you, that uh, I painted on it and we all do it on our decks, which I'm gonna paint again soon here. You know, it gets scratched up. You use the machine, right? If your machine looks perfect all the time and you never paint it and it looks perfect, well, then you're not using it. Then you probably shouldn't have a machine like this. You know, but all in all, the machine is in excellent shape. And uh, yeah, it works perfect for me. It's my go-to for uh, most of my uh, small residentials. I use this bit 95% of the time. And then I got the zero turn, the Z950M that I'll use on bigger properties. So, original tires still. I'm gonna tread on that after 300 hours. Just take care of your stuff, that's all. Watch your turns on asphalt, you know? Don't turn on a dime. Then you're gonna wear down your tires. Well, tires are still looking great. Never had a flat on them yet, because I'm careful with that. Some scratches here. Oh well, it's gonna get scratched. Always have uh, a can of John Deere uh, green paint on you and touch it up. Oh, and also uh, I'm missing a sticker here, I guess from power washing it, it says uh, 
18 horsepower Kawasaki whatever on it so I'm missing that sticker no big deal that's not gonna affect how this thing runs yeah so as I showed you I got 302.1 hours on it key switch just got replaced yeah everything's working great PTO the choke what else Everything's working out here. I really don't know what to tell you other than uh, I'm really happy with this machine three years later. I am actually considering if I have a good winter financially, which uh, I heard we're supposed to have a pretty good winter at snow, so I do plowing. I uh, plan on buying another one of these and I got a plan. I got a, uh, yeah, I'm not going to talk about it now, but am I going to try something else at it? No way, why? I've been using this for three years now and I love it. I'm going to buy another one of these. I'm going to have two of them going. Why not? Great machine. I highly recommend it. I know a lot of you don't like John Deere. That's that's okay. There's so many other brands out there. I kind of wish John Deere made a 30 inch. I don't think anybody makes a 30 inch uh, stand on. I think the smallest is maybe a 32. Toro maybe. I don't know. It's Toro or Skag. One of them. A 30 inch would be kind of cool, stand on, but uh, hey, I'm happy with this. So anyway, um, I got the grass flap on it. I just wanted to talk about that quick too. I'm not doing a review on the grass flap, but I gotta say one thing right now. Um, I did make a video about this grass flap when I did put it on, it's, uh, you can look back with my videos. A1, A++++, company to deal with grass flap I'm telling you I'm in Canada Ontario uh, and uh, you know most of the stuff well all the stuff all the good stuff is in the States it's too bad there's no uh, Canadian companies that are coming up with uh, making these kind of things and having them available so uh, long story short most stuff that you get from the States shipped to Canada you got to pay import charges and duty charges and all this crap and uh, yeah, they actually paid for all that and uh, it was all included in the shipping. I think it was maybe $20 shipping American. And I paid what you guys pay in American dollars. I'm just saying you guys. But uh, I apologize about the wind. It is starting to pick up a little bit here. You can see the trees kind of blowing around. I'm trying to block the wind here from the uh, microphone. But yeah. Totally happy with the grass flap. It works awesome. Here, I'm gonna hit the pedal here and then see this thing pop up. There you go. That is freaking mint. Look at that. No issues with it whatsoever. I'm gonna hit this again. Pedal. And put it down. Best thing since sliced cheese. I'm telling you, everybody's got to get a grass flap. Works great. And it looks great on this machine too. So. I don't know, other than that, I don't know what else to, to talk about. I haven't replaced the belt yet. The belt's in really good shape still. Probably gonna buy another belt, uh, just to have one on hand, just in case, all right? It's always good to have one just in case. But, um, yeah. All in all, the machine's great. Yes, sir. So, if you have any questions, if you're thinking about, uh, a lot of people have messaged me in the past from, uh, from my 200 hour review video on this machine, just asking some questions because they're thinking about buying one too and, and all of this. And hey, you know, I, I answer everyone. You can personally message me, just leave me a comment down below and uh, I'll help you out. I'm not being biased or anything. I am a huge John Deere fan. Um, I'm even bigger of one now because like this machine's going really good anything John Deere I've ever had is uh, is strong and tough and, and lasts so uh, this is my go to mower like I said it's so easy to park in the trailer I have an enclosed trailer and uh, just it's so nimble easy to get around on properties and it gets the job done it makes you money it gets the job done it's reliable so that's pretty much it. Like I said, if you have any questions, leave a question down below. Uh, just leave a comment. You know, say hey. Don't forget to click the uh, the thumbs up. Like my video. That helps. 
And if you haven't subscribed yet, maybe help and uh, support my channel and uh, hit the su subscribe button. If you want to see more videos and be notified, click the, uh, the bell on it and you will get notified that I have a new video. Look back too, I have a, I'm coming on 200 videos. I'm gonna make a video about uh, my 200th video. Well, my 200th video I think will be a video about having 200 videos. <laughs> But I think I'm there. I gotta count them again. I'm around 197 or 198 or around there. I might even be on 200 here. I gotta count again. <laughs> yeah, you guys can laugh at me. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this helped. And uh, yeah, just remember, be nice to everyone. Do something nice for someone today. And peace to everyone. We'll see you soon.